Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for banning my fiancé's toxic best friend from our wedding. My fiancé and I have been together for almost six years, three years dating, two and a half engaged. We've had a great relationship for the most part. Both our friends and families get along well with the other person, and we've never had any major issues, except for one of his best friends. This friend of his, let's call her BF, has never liked me. From day one, it was clear that she didn't want anything to do with me. She'd ignore my existence entirely. Every time we'd be in the same space, she'd go out of her way to pretend I wasn't there. But the minute she sees my fiancé, it's like a whole different person comes out, yelling best friend, at the top of her lungs, running to hug him like I don't even exist. And I'm standing right next to him. Like, hello, do I not matter here? I talked to my fiancé about it. I told him how uncomfortable and disrespected I felt. At first, he didn't really do anything about it. He brushed it off like I was overreacting, saying he needed proof to believe there was a problem. So fine, I let it slide a few more times. But when it became painfully obvious, even to him, that she was going out of her way to avoid me, he finally spoke to her. Things got a little better after that, but only when there were other people around, and even then, it was rare. BF said she didn't have an issue with me, and my fiancé came back telling me that I was the only one who seemed to care. He even suggested that I should approach her and talk it out. I told him I wasn't doing that. She wasn't my friend, she was his friend, and it was his job to fix it. A couple of weeks ago, we went to a party thrown by a mutual friend. I tried yet again to make eye contact with BF and say hello. I made several attempts but she blatantly ignored me the entire night. At this point, even my fiancé noticed because it was so obvious. I don't need her to like me, I don't even need her to respect me. All I ask is for some basic human decency. This whole situation made me start rethinking our relationship. I began wondering if I should end things because I felt like my fiancé was enabling her behavior by continuing to engage with her. Even after he saw how she treated me, I always thought that in a relationship, especially after marriage, we're supposed to be a united front. I wouldn't let a friend of mine treat him like this, so why was he allowing it? That night we had a huge argument. It was a drunken mess, but the bottom line was that I told him she couldn't come to our wedding. I didn't want someone who couldn't stand me to be anywhere near me on such an important day. But now, I'm feeling like an asshole for laying down that ultimatum. Me realize that despite this being the healthiest relationship I've been in, it doesn't mean it's actually healthy. We've had a couple conversations surrounding this issue, which mostly consisted of me saying it bothered me, and him saying he I was the only one who cared. A couple things helped me realize my breaking point. I asked him if he would be okay with our daughter's future partner treating them like this, to which he got flustered, shut down, and said he didn't want to talk about it. He said he didn't want to end his friendship or do anything to jeopardize it because what if we break up? This made me realize he would not protect me as his wife since he didn't as his girlfriend. The final straw was when I expressed how much it bothered me that he wanted me to blow this off since we, as in me, and the best friend, only see each other four to six times a year, and he said, I know the way she treats you is garbage, but you're allowing one person to dictate our relationship. It could be worse, she could be more active, there are worse ways to meddle, people text and lie, and all that to break relationships up. The first line broke my heart and told me all I needed to know. I have to truck through a couple more months of pre-plan and paid for social engagements, but I closed the curtain on any chance of healing this relationship the moment those words left his mouth. I'm gonna go to therapy and redefine what a healthy, balanced, and communicative relationship. The pre-planned events aren't the wedding engagement related. We share a home, need to divide assets, pets, a custody schedule. Additionally, we have vacations planned with a mutually shared friend group, BF not part of that group. I appreciate the concerns, but I need to plan things out a little more. There will be no second chance. To those that keep saying they're fucking probably. 
When I first brought this up, he became stressed and kept emphasizing how I thought he was fucking his best friend and didn't address the issue that was brought up. I don't care to know or confirm. We are not getting married, continuing our relationship. For those thinking I'm using the pre-planned events to justify holding out good, absolutely fucking not. I never asked him to cut anyone off, out of his life. I simply asked for basic greetings and acknowledgement during the rare encounters with his BFF. This hasn't happened, aside from a couple of begrudging times. My ex fiance did make an effort over the summer to include me more and ensure I was acknowledged during group events, but it was too little, too late. We had many conversations during this time, not to reconcile, but to make sure he truly understood why our relationship ended. One night when he was drunk, he apologized for his messy and toxic friends. He admitted he needed to reevaluate his friendships and apologized for bringing them into my life. But during sober conversations, it was a different story. He continued making excuses and brushing off my feelings. He'd say things like, this isn't that big of a deal, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. He even said, I have friends who have done worse. It was clear that he didn't really grasp how much this had hurt me. One thing that finally came out was that BF had been a side piece for about seven to ten years with some guy who was stringing her along. The guy had a baby with someone else, bought a house with the baby mama, and basically lived a double life while keeping BF on the side. Because of that, BF had developed this mindset that she was supposed to be the most important woman in her male friend's lives. That explained a lot about her behavior, but it didn't make it any less toxic. At the end of the day, I've accepted that this relationship wasn't meant to last. I'm going to therapy, focusing on myself, and moving forward. I've even signed up for piano lessons and a language class to keep myself busy. I've started cooking again and getting back into a routine that makes me feel good. My goal is to lose about 40 to 50 pounds, and I'm making real progress on healing from this whole ordeal. I was doubting myself for a long time, feeling like I was making a big deal out of nothing. But now, I know I wasn't crazy, and I wasn't asking for too much. All I ever wanted was basic respect, and if my ex couldn't give that to me, then we weren't right for each other. And no, I never wanted BF to be my friend. I didn't need her to like me, I just wanted acknowledgement, nothing more. In the end, I know now that I deserve a partner who values me and stands up for me, no matter who's trying to come between us. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.